Live, live, live. Welcome in, everybody. Holy hell. What a beautiful Wednesday to be live. Let's open it up today again with Gloria Tells. You're the only one for me. Thank you. A little kombucha to get us started, ladies and gentlemen. That is, this doesn't get you moving. I don't know what will, ladies and gentlemen. I drink a fat cup of ambition this morning. Woke up ready to rumble. Thank you very much, Gloria Tells. Episode 53. This will be a, a, a good episode here. We got one of my friends and longtime training partners, uh, Joe Diesel Riggs here. I'll give him an intro when he makes it. He's late as usual, about 15 minutes late. So trip recap a little bit of housekeeping as sam harris would say uh we just did a quick day trip to vegas yesterday left about eight in the morning um there's actually a vlog on my youtube that kind of goes over the day but uh yeah they wanted sean to commentate his commentating debut and it's pretty cool what goes into it a lot of shit goes into the contender series you'd be surprised um I mean, there's just so many, when people bitch about the pay for the UFC, I get it. I get it. I mean, but they have so many people to pay. They have so many people working for them, so much shit going on. Um, but I think the contender series guys, unless it's changed, I think they make only five and five, but there was a uh, five good little scuffles last night and five people got contracts. Um, Sean did the fuck it Friday. He was pretending to be Dana. So I'm looking forward to that to come out. That'll be pretty funny. Um, other than that, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty smooth trip, a quick day trip. Day trip was good. We stopped by Zook, took a little nap, got our minds right, ate some whole foods, got a good little workout. I think we're about a little over eight weeks out of the Peter Yawn fight. And I think six weeks till we leave. And I'm not looking forward to that flight one bit. One fucking bit, 15 hours in a normal seat. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Do I take a muscle relaxer? Do I take a fat edible and just fucking try to black out? Zanny. A little Xanax. Zanny? I've never took a Zanny. It's the last thing I need to get hooked on. Just take it. So Zannies, Zannies, what are they? Are they sleeping pills? Yeah, I think they're, uh, they're a downer for sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, I never took one either. Actually, so. it's crazy. Are a lot of kids hooked on Xanaxes? I think yeah, because that they make you feel numb. Perks, yeah, they just want you, yeah, just to feel numb. Is used to treat anxiety and panic disorders. Okay, so it's used to treat anxiety and treat anxiety. It's like they're not helping you fix the anxiety; they're just <laughs> yeah. masking it, which most fucking pills do. Just mask the shit you got going on. Just pop one. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, I might. If I can find one, I might. For that trip, dude, flights are just fucking miserable. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a big puss. <laughs> yeah, long flights, for real. They just put you in the the worst uh, <laughs> position. Um, What else? What else in recent news? Leon Edwards, tomorrow. See, uh, there's like a bunch of MMA shit I sent you on Twitter. You're kidding uh, me. Uh, Let me look. DC and Jorge Masvidal were getting into it. DC just seemed cranky as fuck yesterday, just Did like he? walking around, stomping around, just like really overweight, just like, I was just so fucking tired. And Sean said in the meeting, because they have commentator meetings before the uh, things, he just wasn't paying attention really? and people are trying to talk to him. Because there was a clip of Sean where like he was talking next to DC and DC looked like he just like was annoyed with Sean or something. Yeah, I don't know. He's, <laughs> he's, got, a, he's got a weird kind of like arrogant attitude. And I mean, I guess he can... 
You can. You're a double champ. Jorge Mazadal says, guess you're still butthurt since I didn't do the interview you requested on your weak YouTube channel during my fight week. I know you needed my name to produce some sort of view since Ariel went solo and you became a has-been. Just make sure when Dana calls you and tells you to promote the biggest fight the current champ can make in the division, which is me, wear your best suit from DXL and make sure you do it as you're told like a good boy. Maybe you'll get a treat from your master. And that's replying to DC's comment that said, Jorge, you've always been the man. M Malik, stay off his page. I stand by what I said. You don't get unlimited title fights, Malky. Beats Dorino, get to one and three in the last four, and maybe get a title shot. See Malky, now you got me disrespecting my friend. We, we, we got to meet Leon and see with him and have a little interaction with him. Just a cool fucking down-to-earth guy. That dude does not seem cocky, does not seem arrogant just a nice fucking dude but we is asked he, him is what, he pretty big in person or what six two i mean he's he's a little bit lankier he he's not super thick or super big yeah um yeah a, a, a big dude but he said he would if he could have any fight it'd be the mazadal fight but it just right now it doesn't make sense because yeah. mazadal's coming off losses so it's hard to give him that fight yeah i think i think maybe like if mazadal wins one fight and then that's yeah. what they're saying right or I wonder if they're like, okay, Kamzat versus Nate, winner of that fights Leon, and then the winner of that fights Kamaro, because Kamaro's going to need a little while off. You think so? I think so, dude. Being concussed that severe, I mean, you should at least give your brain three, four months. So if they give him three months off, and then he'll need another three months for a training camp. So I would say yeah. six months at the least. So I wonder what Leon wants to do. Leon may want to wait. And have that trilogy right off the rip or he'll say fuck it i bet i bet leon's like god damn it nate pull it off uh, pull it off nate <laughs> a rematch with nate yeah for the title <laughs> just pieces nate up again you know what's interesting about that that fights five rounds you forget about it i mean it is a fight i am counting nate out a little bit i, I know i shouldn't because it is a fist fight yeah. but dude go back and watch the roy mcdonald fight with him where Roy. Roy was almost suplexing him on his head over and over and over and over. I think Kamzat is going to take him down, pass mm -hmm. his guard, and mount him, and then TKO. Yeah. But five rounds, you know what I mean? Five rounds, Kamzat could wear himself out trying to beat the fuck, or actually beating the fuck out of Nate. He could wear himself out, and you know Nate, he's going to die in there before he gives up. So, um, Did you see that video of Colby reacting to Leon Edwards knocking out? Usman? yeah at the bar like in the bar and shit yeah and that said was that he he wants to fight again now so maybe all these people that couldn't beat Usman right oh fuck maybe i could beat yeah leon well, for the belt <laughs> i wonder i wonder if colby sees that and he's like fuck dude like colby's an all-american wrestler very good division one and he, i don't know if he even attempted to take down uh leon but seeing leon just body lock him take him down straight to mount was pretty fucking impressive honestly so um there he is four eyes himself <laughs> go ahead pop a squat you can throw on those headphones joe so you can hear yourself right on time sorry, sorry. sorry about that late arrival that's right you could you could uh swing this in right to your lips right to my okay mm -hmm. i sound raspy nope you sound fine you can hear yourself can't you Yes, I can. Um, okay, this is my uh, longtime friend, longtime training partner. We've been friends for probably coming up on a decade now. Yes. Uh, Joe Diesel Riggs, a.k.a. Joseph Jonathan Riggs. Nice. <laughs> Tell me you knew that didn't look that up. I, I knew that. Okay, good. That would have hurt. Joseph hurt Jonathan, bad. God damn it. Um, yeah, we. I mean, God, there's so many badass stories with Joe. He's a fucking legend of the sport, a real goddamn legend. And I tell everyone, on my live stream the other day, someone asked me, who's the best guy you've ever trained with? And I had to say Joe. Ah, that, that makes me feel good. I mean, I've trained with a lot of fucking yes, very, very good people, but top to bottom, it's got to be Joe. Good boxing, heavy hands. Used to weigh how much? 300? 310. Holy I had shit. A pair of tits that would dangle. That tits that would just sway in the wind, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you, know, you remember that motorcycle story? Where I, was, my, my, I was on the freeway and I was driving. My gut, my, I was on the freeway. I was driving and my shirt went up. My gut was in the wind. Just and, flapping. And, but these girls, I thought they were looking at me. I'm like, fuck yeah. And then, see, you don't really. My gut. You, I don't, don't, no. you don't have a saggy body. No. Like, I, I have a more saggy body. You just, <laughs> I mean, when you're heavier, you just look like a 
you're supposed to be big dude. yeah but being 320 pounds cutting all the way down to welterweight at one point yeah. it feels like you've kept all your power your bone density and it's just like a powerful motherfucker yeah you, you were a professional you had your pro debut in what 2001 2000 i, I was 11 years old god damn it 10 years old <laughs> that's fuck, that, that i feel old as hell that's crazy yeah and you've had i mean I, i'm sure Se they're not 17 all on, I, have, yeah, I have the 17 and maybe more on there 50 so you've had over 70 professional fights mm -hmm. uh yeah i mean fuck That's a, the, nobody nobody has fights like that these days it's a different era you know it just it really is doesn't you'll never find guys like myself jeremy horn you know um travis fulton guys like that you just don't you never have it won't happen you you, you know what happened to travis fulton right croaked you, you know how well how fuck i mean so he, so they found child porn on his on his uh, thing so. and he offed himself yep fuck best thing he could have done though I mean, that's was, fucking sad he had, he, crazy. Had, he, had, he had a child at the age he was looking at and probably he was abused himself he has to have. that's what happens with that the, shit then i mean i i i get in a deep deep almost rabbit holes of looking at that shit and it's yeah everybody who's been abused who abuses abuse you know, they've been yeah. abused that always happens it's very it's very rare so uh i was super thankful back in the day when i was i mean fighting coming up you're not making any money no. so joe took me in to live at his house for free and literally we got called up to the fight master show together which was pretty cool we got to prepare for it but literally when we left for that fight master show i had zero dollars in my account I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even buy a fucking coffee at the airport and if you fight and lose they send you home no bucks you that 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 was terrifying for you i remember i'm like fuck because there's there's 32 at one point of people the it the wasn't best. like the ufc it wasn't like it's not like 16 it was 32 it was, it was yeah. more of the best welterweights at the time and yeah, we, didn't you we have didn't, to be a vet of bellator strike force or something you had to be a vet of some sort i don't think i don't think that was the case but I did, we I'll, had I'm to, gonna, i think i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go and throw my dick out in the air i think it, i think it was I don't think it was. I, I swear to God. <laughs> Do you have a fact checker here? Fact Nick Barnes wasn't in any big I shows. Think, I, Bellator, I think. I think. I think Bellator is what they do. You, do you fact check? Don't fa the internet will fact check and they'll call. They'll call it out. But, gotta, I'm used to being my. I'm used to my dick being rubbed in the dirt. Yeah, dude. One thing about the fucking YouTube is they'll call out any oh, kind of shit. So. Yeah. You can't, you can't <laughs> keep it on flow today. Yeah, I've, you know, I've done so. I, you, remember, I, the interview I did about Joe Stevenson and his and his, di his, uh, his penis, and uh -huh. I, 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 I ruined a friendship with that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just between me and but, the microphone there. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, for the fight master, we didn't find out who we got to fight 24 hours before the fight. So it's all these guys. There's some really good wrestlers, Division One wrestlers, some really good kickboxers. You didn't know who you're going to fight. So it was very. And it, remember, if you lose, you get on the flight, the next flight home, and you're going home with nothing. So I'm like, fuck, if I lose this fight, I got to go home, get a job at Quick Trip or something. Or, or the old loafing jug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that fight, the fight to get in the house was the fight I've, I, I, you cut 21 pounds. Every week. Well, the fight to get in. You cut twenty one pounds in forty eight hours. And I usually, I usually made people it if it wasn't for you. I was dying. usually people bullshit about those kind of things. But I saw it on the scale, and I'm like, "Fuck, dude, you cut twenty one pounds in forty eight hours." Was, and at dying. one point, eight hours of with the sweatsuit to the sauna to the bike shadow box and sweatsuit, and you made the weight, which is crazy. Yeah, every I think every every week, I, everybody doubted I was going to make the weight, and it, you know, it was it was hard. Really yeah. Hard. I went well, to congestive you, heart failure when I got home. I remember that. Blew up. You wouldn't even let me see. You were too my, embarrassed. My, my diesel was straight across. God. I, 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 like a bullfrog. It was, it was, it was Looked horrible. like a goddamn Bubba Fett. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. I did. Um, yeah, but that was pretty insane going through the Fight Master show. Rem I mean, the first day on there, fucking Joe. They, 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 didn't, they, didn't do, they didn't show the public the fucking greatest things that ever Anything. happened. Anything. Well, you're mic'd up for six weeks, so literally after a day of being mic'd up, you don't give a fuck. They could have portrayed you however you wanted, but uh, the first the first day, Joe pulls me aside and challenges me a Welch versus Riggs challenge. We had nothing else to do, yeah. <laughs> and he said, "Loser of one pool game 
has to shave a cul-de-sac haircut. Yeah, I was done. I and was and done. Every, everyone in the house was watching, and Joe was whooping me. I think he was whooping me. No, no, you were whooping my ass. You were whooping my ass. I remember clearly. There was, there was two bets. I, it could have been one, because remember the stash, right? Oh, the pube stash. Yes. That was a different bet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You, you don't I remember forgot. that? You, that's, now I remember. Oh, oh well, let me regale you when you this one. Go ahead. And then uh, I, I I hit a comeback of the pool game. Everyone's cheering. Yeah. He did jo- it. Joe fucking runs off. He's trying to tell the producers, <laughs> yeah, don't I, let him cut my hair. I, he knee on the he knee on the belly. With me. So oh, I put knee best. on belly. I got my buzzer. My buzzer was fucking fully charged. And I went. Bzzz. And you picked my head up and you eyeballed me. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I he said, you fucking did this yourself. Yes. yes. So he buzzed the cul-de-sac. And dude the tv show didn't show no. any of it no. joe joe would be in the training room getting all ready he had a beanie on getting ready to feel, feel himself <laughs> oh and God. i'd go slap him in the back of his head slap the beanie off and his cul-de-sac would be showing oh him. yeah i would have i would have a hat or a beanie on trying to hide and then you would just knock it off and i'd be i i, I, I look like mr burns yeah i mean that was a good time six weeks in a big warehouse with a bunch of guys we had a good time uh. joe, joe ended up winning the tournament yeah, which I mean, honestly, if you weren't, if you wouldn't have been there. Wouldn't have, definitely wouldn't have made it. But, but the, the second bet we had with the pube stash, um, like again, I challenged, and then so, but the the bet was, I don't, I don't know if any of your boys know this. The the bet was who, uh, so whoever lost was gonna have to wear a, a mustache of our of. If I lost, Tim would I would wear a mustache of Tim's dick hair. No pube hair, so a red bush stash. Yeah, yeah, dick hair. I mean, whatever. I it's, but so, it's so and then and then eat, eat a bowl of cereal. I think it was. And, and I didn't was, eat shit. I know. And then I did some more fucked up too, because you whooped my ass and you sunk the a ball. Mm-hmm. I was all I was prepared for the stash, and then uh, and then you sunk it. You 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 threw yourself you threw yourself on the ground, and then I shaved my legs. I'm like. Tim, don't worry about it. It's my leg hair. And then put honey on your face, all the dick hair. Mm-hmm. And then you just sit, sit there and then I'm like, oh, I pull it down. No. Yeah, you pull down your bush crooked cocks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a pretty epic time. You know, it was, uh, it was pretty crazy because those fucking producers, they took your mouthpiece before I think the semifinals match. And my prostate medicine. Yeah, they took your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 don't hold back. It's fine. I remember we had the cream, the testosterone cream. <laughs> yeah, and right, right. everyone in the house, we filled it up with a regular lotion, and yeah. everyone in the house is rubbing it on their thighs, trying yeah. to get a little boost. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, fucking it, it, just rubbing. I'm sure fucking a couple guys rubbing rubbing on the root. Oh, 100%. yeah, it, it's uh, it, it was that's a fucking stupid thing I did. <laughs> Why would I do that? And I had to sleep next to Joe for six weeks. Oh. I mean, five feet from do him. You still, his, do you have the pictures of what the room looked like? I'll send him jacks. He'll throw them on the oh. YouTube. But a fucking tornado. And mine was all tightened up. Oh, yeah. And he was just snoring like a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me like it was with five, like every night with a shoe or something. Every night I'd grab about five or six things to throw at you <laughs> so I'd get some rest. Oh, oh I remember that. And then, and then I wouldn't know who it was till the next day. Yeah. Who hit me? Oh, it was me. And then, uh, yeah, Fight Master was good. You ended up winning that show. It was a pretty epic, epic uh, tournament. I mean, that was a fucking tough, long, grueling tournament. You don't get, get enough got, credit for that. Got no credit from that. <laughs> no, nobody gave me a credit. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's fucking. And then the uh, the finals, it was 5000 to show up and $95,000 <laughs> to win. Mike Mike Bronzoulis got he got a bill for five grand. <laughs> well, no, remember, he got a, a, a forward. He, he, he had a bonus. See him. He got. He got. He got an uh, advance. Advance. <laughs> yeah, because because remember my eye got hurt, yeah. and they gave me money, and mm-hmm. then they he had, he had, so he 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 needed money, and then he was no. I forgot how the crooked eye happened. Oh, for a, for a ha- for a while there, Joe had a wandering eye. Oh, I oh. still do. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, that was from a knee in practice, right? It was. It was. It was right before. It was. The day our last bar, our last hard sparring session before that we left for the fight master, and no, are you sure? I thought you broke your or you broke. I, your I face. broke. I broke the my bone connected to my skull in the eye. I broke my orbital and broke my nose, and uh, and it was five seconds of the last round. I remember telling John like, because because at the lab they don't go that hard anymore. I was I'm pleasantly surprised. It's different, and um <clears throat> and and Ishmael pushed me off and hit a switch kick and I blocked it. And my 
So I was seeing some coming off my fat head. Um, I blocked it. It went it went through, and his toe broke like three three major bones in my face, and I yeah. flopped down. I mean, I knew it was done, and then it got postponed by three months. I thought they were gonna, you know, they were gonna put like Cole somewhere, like, the runner up in there. You know, mm -hmm. I was. Yeah, but those producers, I, like Joe's bucking himself around the whole fucking <laughs> building, punching shit like like fuming up crying yeah and i'm like i know you producers you, did it we had the mouthpiece right by his fucking bed they did it on purpose oh yeah of course they did and they're like don't say it was the producers it's like it was you you fucking bitches yeah like and, and so so me cutting all that weight my prostate i don't know if it's natural but swelled up like an old crow's cock mm -hmm. but i couldn't pee you know when you drink so much water when you're cutting weight trying to pee i'd sit on the toilet for hours in the, in the night yeah I, yep. I, I got hemorrhoid like a banana would come i mean that that, that probably it didn't happen i shouldn't have said that either yeah but, that's right well that's true but but, but yeah so that i would go to the hospital they'd calf me and i'd be like oh and then so it, like later on they just gave me the self cathing ones mm -hmm. where I, I would tie a piece i would i would put a piece of tape on my dickhead and just piss into a cup all night it's hey, a, since you were late, I got to do this uh, call with Dan Garner. We do it once a week. He's with our nutritionist, yeah, yeah. and uh, he's just going to do one quick question. It's gonna we're going to do this each week, guys. Dan Garner said we can, we can give him a call each week, and it's going to be one question about how to improve your performance. I like that. He, he's cool. one of the best nutritionists in the world. I know he is. He's uh he's partners with Andy Galpin. He's been working with Sean and I for five six years now, and he's just the man. So let's give him a jingle. Let's uh, ask him this quick question, and then we'll get on with the conversation. Still kombucha. Yep. Always. You've been drinking that shit since ever. Yo, what's up, Tim? Dano, how's it going, brother? I'm doing good, buddy. How you doing? Doing good. I already gave you a, a good introduction. So our question for you today is when you take all these supplements, say um, when I'm taking my multivitamins from Thorn or I'm taking any of my supplements, and then shortly after I start peeing super yellow. What is that from? And am I really sucking in those uh, nutrients? Yeah, so basically what that boils down to is the difference between water-soluble and fat-soluble nutrients. So when it comes to multivitamins and multiminerals, the reason why you're peeing yellow after these, but not, say, after creatine or amino acids or anything like that, is due to absorbability. So your fat-soluble vitamins are A, B, E, and K those will be stored in the fat. And that's why they can actually become toxic over time. There is things such as vitamin A toxicity, vitamin D toxicity, because if you have way too much of it, it will just simply be stored in the fat and can become toxic in high amounts. Whereas B vitamins and C vitamins, these are water soluble. So if we do not have a storage depot for them, we can't really get them in excess. That's why you can have, a, say, a B complex with like, 20,000% of your vitamin B12, where people can literally have grams of vitamin C per day, and you're not going to reach toxic uh, uh, intake amounts at that because it's water soluble. So what you don't absorb, you simply pee out. So that's, oh. what, that's what you're seeing, and that's what's taking place there, is your body is basically uptaking the B and C vitamins that it wants, and what it doesn't currently need, it's going to pee out in the form of neon yellow Las Vegas urine. <laughs> wow i mean that's that's good to know so it soaks in what it needs and you piddle out the rest exactly so b vitamins and c vitamins water soluble that's what you're seeing in the toilet but if you have way too much a d e and k that actually can become toxic over time wow fucking great to know dan thank you so much brother anytime brother okay talk to you soon bye Man, I would like to ask him a lot of questions oh dude he could go on he's a fucking scientist but uh I mean, that's interesting. I mean, that's good to know because I, I, I take my vitamins. And I'm like, am I peeing all this shit out? It, but it, you soak in what you need and you piddle out the rest. And there's, not, there's nothing wrong. It's just it's, it's, your, it's your kidneys filtering it out. Yeah. So does, does it stink when you when you pee? It has it has a certain smell to it. It doesn't. I wouldn't say it stinks. It smells more like a a nice smell. <laughs> not a good pun. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. nice. So, okay, shortly after Fight Master, get back with the UFC. I mean, your career is fucking crazy. Oh. I mean, this could be a long ass podcast. Um, we got uh, Sugar Sparn here at noon, so we still got about we got highs, lows, 50, 50, 55 minutes, but it's pretty fucking epic. I mean, 
I mean, most people would have quit a long, long time ago. You've been fighting nonstop since you were 16 years old. Yeah, people don't realize after after I left the UFC, I, I had um, out of 30 fights, I lost one. Mm -hmm. You know, and then and eight or eight or nine was in Russia, and winning in Russia is hard. You know, fuck yeah, it is. And but again, <clears throat> nobody gives a fuck. So no. at this the one point where. Walk me through when you ended up shooting yourself in the hand oh, and the foot real quick. That gen, not the foot. Really the, I hit no, me. the leg. Femur artery, yeah. Um, Lisa, was, or Lisa called me, and I'm like, what? Yeah, but it was, in the, it was like bright and early because yeah, you were, you, Lisa said you said what about 10 times. What? Well, I couldn't imagine getting news like that. So you're, you're cleaning your pistol. Well, Efren, I got, my, I got my, my, new, my gun for my sponsor. It was a 45 1911 6 hour, and the magazine was low, was, had hollow tips in it. So um, Efren, I show it to him, and he, he chambers a live round in it. And the gun is brand new. It's never been fired. And uh, what I was like, oh, you idiot. So I pulled the magazine out, and I tried to eject the live round out. It wouldn't come out. So I just put in the backpack. We went to practice. <clears throat> and that, the same day, I, I got my release from Bellator because Bjorn Redney got the boot. And Eddie Alvarez and I was <clears throat> were on a contract just with Bjorn, so our contracts were null and void. So we went to UFC. And so all of that happened in one day, and we were doing that documentary. And he's like, so how does it feel to have this, 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 and this happen and I'm like, oh, it feels great. You know, it's and I was watching The Bachelor. Things were looking good. And mm -hmm. I, I'm taking the gun apart to get it because I could not get this live round out. And uh, as I pull it, um, I had the safety is wrong. All the stuff is on. And, and I, was, I, I, was mu I was muscling it so it was by my leg. So I pulled it, and then the hammer drop went through my hand and went through my Ooh. leg. And then <clears throat> I didn't know I shot my hand. I was like, I was like, I, I, the, no, the noise was like. Ugh. So it didn't even wake up Lisa because your room. No, right next that to the was room. the scary part. Remember, remember the the kids when that young they would sleep with Lisa. Yeah. So like, like I was watching the TV, so it very could have went in the room and it hurt my babies. That's what really scared me. But I got up and I walked in the other room, <clears throat> and that that Cedric was following me. He was he was game. He was he thought he was because when I stood up, Shark Week was just on. I know all the sharks that people die from. From uh, you know the, the the bleeding out. Yes, so so I guess like six feet just shooting out. So uh, so I, I lay and Dana goes, you better not fucking get hurt. Because you almost you almost hit the the big artery in your leg. I right? did. It didn't, I didn't do the because there was because the hollow tip just spreads. It didn't didn't do as much damage as it could it could have done. So you're sitting there bleeding out. Was there a point where you just were laying there and Lisa came out and then called the ambulance? Yeah. So I I laid on the couch because. My, the, I have a big house, so I was able to walk mm -hmm. to, and which that actually that actually did me a favor is, is walking. Is that better? No, no just pull. I just push that down. The, quick, quick, quick pull it or quick pull it. Or you can lean it, lean it up, talk into the blue light. That better? Yeah, that's good. All right, so, so I was laying on that couch, and uh, so I, I I feel the blood hitting me in the face, like like it was every heartbeat. I'm like. This ain't good. So, and I go to wake Lisa up. I go to grab the door handle, and it goes through my fucking hand. I'm like, no, God. And then I, I yell at Lisa, I, I've been shot. And I fall down. Like, I didn't didn't have, so she comes outside, and, and then the the the, the blood Did was. Did Lisa just scream, or was she? She was she, disturbingly calm. You know, I mean, because, you know, my wife, if that if that was happened to her, I mean, well, she she's been through medical school, she knows that stuff. But so she thought, um, you know, I was I was I was hemorrhaging inside. So she, like, the hole in my leg was like that big. She was had her hand in there. Yeah, the pictures. Are, if we can find the pictures, we'll throw them up on YouTube. Yeah, they, they, they this dickhead put it on TMZ, so it was real, real fucking nice of him. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> but yeah, so she thought I was doing that, and then I thought I was dying. I was one hundred percent. I was I was for sure I was going to die. So I had, had I had to go wake up Joey. To say, you know, like goodbye. Yeah, and then I'm like, I'm I'm giving him all these like things I think he'll he'll remember, and then he's like looking away. And I'm like, look at me, boy, I'm fucking dying. And then I showed him alien autopsy the day before. He thought aliens had came in and shit killed me. Fucking nibbed you. <laughs> yeah. So so that like fucking really fucked his head. But but I was just laying there. I mean, I finally passed out after 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 uh you know after so long but the the day before this west valley hospital they turned into a level one trauma who that could that could accept a case like mine and that was a five minute helicopter ride if it wasn't for that it would have been 20 minutes if, it, if it did before so i would i would have died 100 percent. so i was a Man. lucky bird yeah that was that's a pretty fucking and then lisa lied to me and said that 
the doctor said I could fight again. My hands fucking, I have like two fingers. I mean, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it, and, uh, and, and because I, I didn't, I wasn't taking painkillers or anything like that. I just, I didn't, I had, I've had a past addiction, so I just didn't want to do yeah. that. And so, then, and so I, 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 the fifth surgery, the doctor came in, he's like, you can fight. And Lisa's crying. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going you on? Jump up, start one, two in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but yeah, but she lied to me to keep me from dying and throw myself around, throw, mm -hmm. throw myself out of the window. Yeah. I mean, when was the point? Because dude, having almost 70 professional fights and probably realistically more close to 90 ish real fights, surgeries, how many total surgeries have you had? 38. 38 fucking surgeries. So how old were you when you started to take the uh, the painkillers to where you're like, okay. Uh, 20, 21. And that was after a fight? After a fight, you started popping the painkillers and yeah. it really just started just numbing you and making you not yeah. have pain. Yeah, I, I, could, I could train and then I wasn't, I wasn't taking them. I wasn't abusing them. I was taking them as the doctor prescribed, but it just got, I would have to take more to get the same results. And I had no idea what addiction was. I, I had no idea if I stopped. I would go through withdrawals until I had my back surgery, and I'm like, I feel good, I'm done. Then I started crying, feeling like shit. Called the doctor, and he's like, Oh, take one and tell me how you feel. Took one, it felt normal. And he goes, Oh, no big deal. You're just going through physical withdrawals. I'm like, Oh, no big deal. Nice. Yeah. I mean, so, the, I mean, you were battling that for years, and I remember one practice at the lab after a practice, hard, hard wrestling yeah. practice. Some Tuesdays and Thursdays were super fucking horrible. so super grueling, and you popped one. Yeah. And you started looking at me like I'm just <laughs> fucking tired, Tim. No, that, no, that, that, was like, that was that was that was the MRI one, remember? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you took that and you're drooling and you're driving me around, driving oh. up onto the curb. We drove through <laughs> Filberto's for so, a quick yeah, burrito. Yeah. And you spilling cheese <laughs> all over my asking, rig. You're asking Leo, is he really tired? And Leo's like, no, he's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Because and now was so they because I can't get into an MRI. I've, Horrible hypochondriac. I mean, not hypochondriac. I am a hypochondriac, but I just don't like confined spaces. I hate that. So they gave me a Xanax bar to take before I went there, and it just destroyed me. Yeah. Uh, I took it at the wrong time as well. Yeah, in driving up on the curb, I'm oh. like, holy shit, I'm about to croak right now. God, uh, it, that's that's one of the, like, I, I'll talk to Leo about that, and, I'm, and he was like, yeah, I told Tim what was going on right away. I'm like, I bet you fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so getting off that, was it hard? Were you sweating? No, no, I wasn't, never addicted to that. That that Because one is the benzodiazepine, one's the opiate. So they, they affect two parts of the brain. One's just for anxiety, one's for pain. So... That was just uh, me being a fucking a perpetual drug addict who can't take anything normally, mm -hmm. you know? So, but that's, yeah, and, and that's what happens. Yeah, I wish, I wonder if it would have saved you back in the day if the marijuana was legal instead of the opiates. 1,000%. It would have. Because I remember uh, me talking about marijuana to you. I, even when I was living at your house, I did a little smoke out the window and you came in there storming it. <laughs> Open the booths to me. What have you done? You fucking little red fuck. <laughs> I remember when, when Sean was living at, me, living at the house, and I was in Korea, and he, and Sean was smoking weed, and I'm like, hey, I, I'm acting like it's crack. You got to ease up on it. It's going to really <laughs> ruin your life, you know? <laughs> and then, when did you start? When did when did you have your first puff? When, recently? When I talked, oh, oh no. Um, I smoked when I was younger, but it made me feel like I was in a video game, you mm -hmm. know? But uh Joe Rogan really enlightened me. Off. I, I I had like a two hour conversation, and he's really really smart, and mm -hmm. he, he can break things down. And because I was, I said every time I, t I take it, I feel like I'm in a video game. And then you had a puff, <clears> and you started getting maybe a little snacky, and you started enjoying it. And my tits started to swing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, but I so I've done so I got, I actually enjoy I enjoy the shit out of it now. You know. I mean, it makes you really be able to enjoy the moment, enjoy the people around you. Yeah. Um. It, for me, yeah, it brings me, brings I, me right I, there. I, the things that I, I was watching, like you're, you're driving your 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 Vespa, flying up on your Vespa, doing some fucking plug, and that shit kills me. Fucking, <laughs> I know you're high as a kite. I love it. It's great. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, being at the UFC now, dude, you'd be so surprised on how much they take care of people i mean they have your meals all week they have physical therapy for you all week like the they ufc have, or, or the or ufc have, really the ufc they have your the, your supplements all did, you did need they start all week. after they sold the ufc or what i don't know probably yeah because I, I was i was my last fight in the ufc was like what, 2017 like yeah so probably maybe a year or two after that but it's really surprising how much it's changed compared to when you Fuck were there that. 
Yeah, and I remember clearly the you were uh, after the wins. I forgot who it was, but you barely made weight. Stalin. 100, 186. You're you're backstage right off the scale, and you're laying there just puking up like bile. We just got off the the. Uh, and then who do, we, who, who do we see out there? And the matchmakers roll by and they're going, at least he didn't shoot himself. <laughs> yeah, but they walk off and you guys are just, you're just laying there. I want to kick, jo- kick, I want to kick Joe Silver through the fucking window. Yeah, yeah. he's fucked. Yeah, he, if, if, where, oh, oh, yeah, he, he would, he would know the perfect things is to run my dick right in the dirt. Yeah. And he would love it. So about maybe what, two years ago now, you decided to move to my hometown, Great Falls, oh, Montana. Oh, yes. <laughs> There'll be a lot of people listening to this. Yeah, myself. well, well I fucking love it, bad. man. Yeah. Isn't it a beaut? Ain't she? Ain't she a beauty? <laughs> well, you know, you know what it did is because is when, when I first met Tim, I mean. Uh, we went up there to corner us and it's beautiful. No, but did, when, I, when I first met you, me and you just clicked, boom. You yeah. know, you, we just, because if, if anybody has the same sense of humor as I do, yeah. I'm hook, line, sinker, you know? So yeah. I like, I, I love it. And then so so I went down there with you and then it was a cool town. It's a, it's a real, the town is really cool, but the fighting is such a goddamn joke. It makes me sick. And I don't think it's just in Great Falls. It's kind of- It's Montana. Montana it's, oh general. yeah, it's, it's not yeah. just Great Falls. I, I, in Great Falls, the school that I have, um, they're like, I, I, I train them like I train, you know, so they're training like Arizona yeah. fighters. And not that there's not good athletes, because there is some there's very no, there's good. There's no good, like a black belt there. He's 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 a blue belt here. I mean, it's honestly, yeah. it's um, like like I've done one one black belt match with the guy, and I'm I'm way better without a gi. Yeah. And then freaking I'll throw on a gi just to do it, and then I rub out this guy who's wearing three stripes, and it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. It's like, like uh, Grunhauser, what's his name? I I've, yeah. I've personally strangled strangled him. <laughs> I got some stories about him. I don't want to. I don't want to air him. No, out too bad. Go, go, let it, I'll tell you. I'll <laughs> no. tell you one story about him. This is this is our third. You know, Nick. This this little this, this puss doc son of a bitch over here. Uh-huh. So puss doc means he's he's a gynecologist. But yeah, great guy. I love yeah, him. he loves puss. He um he, he <laughs> he's he's the best. But but the biggest thing is okay. So. He went over. We were, I was fighting. I went, when I knocked out Melvin and Billings. Yep. He went over to the the gym and he um he with Chris, Lido. With Chris. So he went over. He went over there and he was he was talking to that the and he's like, hey, so I, I heard Joe doesn't like you or something like that. Then and then Nick comes back and tell me the the shit that he was saying. And you know I'm I am very fucking petty. That I I will stoop down to any level. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Really. And uh, and so I I strangled him that night. Mm-hmm. Um. Because, because he came home and told me that, and then he was like, "No, it's not what it seems." So then, we we uh, we put we put it to rest. And the, and the first time, I guy had a guy, this Louis Lopez guy, knocked his like his best kickboxer out, so it made him. Made, like, he didn't. He was like, "Why is it knees and and el- why is it elbows?" Because it was a pro kickboxing fight, and I said, "Pro Muay Thai is elbows." You fucking idiot! You know, mm-hmm. you don't know the difference. And so, the last time, my son Joey. I, I I went and paid for my tape. You know they have the tape there. They get, they don't have gauze, but but I was getting the tape back that I that I bought. So I told my son to go, son go get it, and then he's running after my boy, like and, and, you know, he's, he's in like fucking like head bobbing, mm-hmm. and then I see it. I'm like oh yes, and then and then he, I hear him. I don't give a fuck who your dad is, and that's that's all I needed to hear. So I so and Joe was like dad he he's doing this and I'm like I'm like. I just told him to go. That's my tape. I was getting back. I'm getting reimbursed. I'm like, what the fuck do you even care? This isn't your show. Fucking no hair. No. I was, and I made some bald, bald comments, but so he was getting lippy. Ah, uh, kind of. I mean, I'll slap a shit out of somebody. I mean, he was. He go. He goes. He goes. I go. I heard you say I don't give a fuck who your dad was, and so I'm sure my dad. He said, my dad's. You know, my dad Joey said. So I'm sure you knew mm-hmm. exactly. So then he was like, well, you know, and then. <clears throat> Yeah, I just yeah. fucking I do a lot of rape choking. In like in, in those uh small small town small towns in Montana, you can go anywhere and win some tournament and then post that you're the world champion, they're the you're the world's greatest, blah blah blah. And a lot of people buy it. I, I don't even, I don't want to name name this kid's name because I so like there's this kid, he's he's he was an amateur MMA guy in the fusion show there. And uh he is like I think he has two wins above five hundred, but he wrestles at the high at the college, so he's just a wrestler. His hands, he, he can't he can't punch his way out of a paper sack. Mm-hmm. But since I brought BKFC to Great Falls, they were just trying to sell tickets. He's a, he's a local ticket sale and seller, and so he's fought two guys with a combined record of zero and sixteen, and uh, he beat him. So he, they have him ranked like number three because there's nobody in the division. The, this guy is, is walking around 
Sp- like he's sponsors everything. The, the, the guy, I, the guy I told you, the guy that he um uh that he's. It's, 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 he can it's, say his name. I don't. I, I don't. Even, I don't even want to say. Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. We don't need it. We don't need Aaron out. He'll no. He'll go home like. Uh, he'll be. Yeah, he'll yeah, be yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but and he has uh, um, his manager that, you, that uses his, his Sean's name like it's currency. I'm just like, I, that makes me fucking crazy. Yeah. I, mean, I should let it go. I should be like, eh, eh, fucking, you know, do what you want. But yeah. I, I can't. I can't. There's, there's a lot, a lot of just great things about Montana. There's a, a ton. When it comes to fighting, they're a little bit behind, which is okay. A there, lot there, of there's, only, there's only a million people in the state, so it's understandable. Yeah, l- like the dog pound was the best gym. I mean, Matt Powers, he he's, like he, he's taught me a lot of he's good, a good lessons. Fucking dude. When it comes to fighting, he's probably top up there with the best coaches there he, every fight he'd always have me in my mind that i was going to kill the guy and that like, that says that's for huge. a lot right there yeah i mean because when you came to the lab you were good you know but but you also were with with you know with with uh with, with team quest yes, for a little bit and uh and yeah you were you or you were above that but it's uh it's and actually i'm gonna do before i leave i'm gonna be doing cross training with guys from the dog pound but yeah it's because uh, there's, there's no one there's no one down there to to train with you know the yeah. biggest thing, like because I, I have two kids here from great falls you know joey and dre and they're they went to the lab practice and they're just blown away just how yeah definitely different yeah um let, let's switch directions here a little bit uh you're pretty famous for the beating up nick diaz nick diaz pretty bad beat up nick diaz at the hospital you're both in the hospital him and his brother roll in and start slapping you around a bit <laughs> yeah that's a great description of, yeah just <laughs> slap the shit out of me actually i hadn't i was walking in it was nick time. and nate oh it was both those cocks and, yeah. and you were you were strapped up to an iv yep yep catheter yep, yep. no catheter <laughs> i did shit my pants though so. in, yeah. yeah. in the fight in the third round you shoot no 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 in the hospital that's right so, so i'm i'm in a like they have me on the other side of the hospital and uh um, they, they don't allow both fighters to go to the hot, same hospital now because of that. But which that's that's embarrassing to even say. It's, they, they did that. But so so um, Nick, every time he loses, he thinks he wins. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And uh, so I didn't do anything. I was I was giving my drug test. Like he kept like kind of talking shit down the hall. He wasn't. It wasn't. I couldn't hear him, so it wasn't a big deal. And Tim Sylvia and Rich Frank were with me, and so was Frank Mir. So they didn't do anything when those guys started talking. Not a fucking thing. They like, they sat there. Okay, so, so and both my hands were broken in like four places. Like his face had to get stitched up. I mean, just my hands were really swollen, and so so he and then I was dehydrated, so they gave me IV. So I go down there to give my drug test, and I'm carrying an IV pole, and then uh, <clears throat> he keeps talking. I'm like, bitch, that's, you just, he lost one row. I go, that's two in a row for you, bitch. Go back to the WC, something like that. And uh, before I turn back around and hear clip clop, I start turn around again. Uh, I, I see and my. You had your IV in. Yeah, I see my. I I, I lost. I only tooth I lost because that rat bastard. I see it flying. I was oh, like, no. God. So yeah. did you fall your back and your gown start up kicking? <laughs> You love that one. You fucking just yeah. shit hanging out of your <laughs> yo. You would fucking <laughs> fall in my back, of my gown. Oh Start god, kicking like a cat. <laughs> oh you know, So I fall into a single leg. I'm like, oh, I'm lifting him. So I lift him on hospital beds. I had shit everywhere. <laughs> and they got on the a, lift. Oh yeah. I think God I had tights on, so it kept a kept a little bit in. And then <laughs> it tight. It, and then he had a single leg. We hop into a fucking broom closet of all things. I don't know. I don't know why. Thank God. Cause I couldn't have hit him. Uh, he put his head right in my, in my hip pocket. He was, he was toast off of me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck yeah. I was just mm-hmm. elbowing the shit out of my, I, I, I hit him probably 20 times. And then I look over cause I hear the siren going and this fat nurse was just screaming. Mm-hmm. And Squealing. Then, yeah. Like, yeah! <laughs> like, like the, the most fattest pig. Anyways, but, but uh, but so I go get your fucking brother. I don't want to. I don't want to go to jail. And then uh, uh, Nate starts yeah, smacking you. Yeah, I'm like, oh, is that right? That's so I throw my. F- I'm trying to swipe at him. Rich is right there. Rich is best man at my wedding. I'm like, fucking help. You and know what's he doing? Nothing. Fuck. Tim Sylvia's right there. Frank Mir's right there, and they're all my friends. And so, and then this little fucking worm slapping at me. So I'm fighting both of them, and then the cops tackle me with shit all over me mm-hmm. and the, the IV is ripped there's blood everywhere fuck I think I'm cut somewhere and then and I know Nick's cut but it wasn't like gash it like wasn't it wasn't bleeding a lot and so I'm, I'm running to the bathrooms I'm, I poop myself mm-hmm. and I, I tell 
I tell Frank, I go, I, I shit my pants, and he goes, yeah, you smell like a fucking turd. I'm oh. like, oh, God. So oh. I, you've, you've seen me, myself, and Irene, and you're in, he's, I'm in the sink washing my butthole off. Holy and, hell. Yeah, it was, a, it was a bad thing. And then I get back to the hotel, and everybody's like, yeah, you got knocked out in the hospital. I'm like, oh, God. Couldn't Holy let that down. Hell. Yeah, that's a pretty fucking epic story. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, so you've, yeah, you fought, I mean, you're a strike force champion, right, at one yeah. point? Mm -hmm. Interim. Yep, and then uh, Bellator, Strike Force, UFC. I mean, there's not many people with experience. BKFC. What, what do you like the bare knuckle? I do, I do, I do. I do. I mean, I mean, you got big, strong fists, and they're probably callous to they're, fuck. They're, I, I don't have I don't have really big hands. I did, but they, they I have I have thick bones, so mm -hmm. I, I do it hard. But it's uh, little it's, fucking chubs for yeah, fingers. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so when I fight, I wear a small in my left hand and a large in my right because I shot off. Holy hell! Yeah, but but yeah, the bare, bare knuckle. The only reason I like I'm still doing, doing bare knuckle because I have to fight that piece of shit that beat me last time. Because that, that one that's smack the tomato across your oh, face oh god tim were you fired up for a while uh, today I'm still... I, bet you, I bet you're outside throwing yourself around the four seasons <laughs> you just seen it. i felt i verbally abused this fat yard <laughs> I, I just... that motherfucker's explosive though dude yeah dude he is he i made him look really good i mean it's it's uh i, I just sat there like a fucking turd I, I mean, I, I, ne like I told you I went out there and just put up a goose egg before, but yeah. I just didn't want to go out there. I was so angry I wanted to cry almost because oh, he was – because even his wife, his wife started talking shit to my wife, and I told her I'd slap the fuck out of her if she mm -hmm. had my wife because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't beat women at all, but I mean, I'm very protective of my wife. Yeah, but, but if she hit your wife, then what? <laughs> Boom. Yep. Not for close fist, maybe open hand. No. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. I, put, I put a hammer to her. Wow. Hadn't been, hasn't been the first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so but, what do you miss about Phoenix? Everything. Do you? Yeah. Just the stores. Just I mean, I love I love Phoenix. I really I, I, I really you, like you, it. Here. You you would like you wouldn't you wouldn't <laughs> when you went home. You yeah I mean you I, I know you, you love Phoenix. You've always have. I mean you, you you took to it well. Yeah. What'd you think when you first came into my gym? I was pumped for you to see it finally. Yeah, dude. Like I saw like Lisa Lisa showed me it online, and I was like because. Your reaction was great. You, like, you acknowledged your age and how rare that is to happen, and it was, looks really fucking nice. You know? Fuck yeah, dude! And especially the setup, like like the recovery center, uh, the, the doctor, the meal prep place. The, I mean, it's just I don't think anybody has that place. That's Fuck. just unbelievable. Yeah, I appreciate it. So you're staying at the you're staying at the puss doctor's house right now. How's he, that been? He keeps trying to fucking me. He's trying to examine me. <laughs> 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 Always does. You know, he, damn yeah, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, you know my Matt Hamill last night. Fuck, he put, he he forcefully made me grab his penis. Yeah, he does that. If you get him in a bad position, he'll grab your wiener and start yanking. I was talking to him. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. he arm dragged me into his dick. Were you guys drilling a little bit? No. Hey, how you doing, boys? Good talk. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and, and I took me for a loop because then I was I was abused for being being a, a predator of some sorts. Yeah. But yeah, but he, he's 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 fucking hilarious. Yeah, I, he'll, I, I he'll love pull that out of you. For so for you, you've trained with I mean, lots of just great people across your career. Who's the best person you've ever sparred? Spar? Oh, that's a good good damn question. Skill wise. Um, I would say fucking. Uh, I would say where you're like, God damn, this guy's fucking good. Um. Uh, and maybe maybe they're not good in fights. Matter, doesn't matter heavyweight. Maybe they're heavy not part. good in fights. Yeah, just any. Micho I mean, he's he's probably the best. Who? Uh, um, Stipe. Yeah, Stipe Micho is probably. He's the best fucking guy. skilled, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. I, I, I was in uh, Ohio one time, and I watched him spar this big heavyweight boxer twelve rounds. Mm -hmm. Sparred him all twelve rounds, and he's skilled, and a fucking great dude. He's really nice. Yeah, he's a he's a great dude. Because you were going out there to help uh, Matt Brown spar a yes, little bit. Yeah, and, and you know Matt Brown is so much so much better than I thought. Really? I did a straight wrestling match with him. Just straight wrestling match. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I know I probably won by four points. Super technical. <laughs> yeah, he he's one of the very few guys that didn't learn how to wrestle. Like I I was listening to you talking about how how important wrestling is for kids, mm -hmm. and it is. And but but you could tell the difference someone who learned how to wrestle young and late. Mm -hmm. He actually he looks like he learned how to wrestle at a young age. He's actually good. That's pretty cool. And and he uh he's 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 a, he's a dog. He'll just he'll get down there and fight. Yeah. Know? What uh so what do you got on agenda for so, for your fight? What are you doing in Phoenix? In, in Phoenix, I, I came here because I haven't trained for a fight in two years, mm -hmm. and that that's that's hard to, to even. So make. you're fighting for what? The B, so I, I fight this. 
BKFC. No, what were you fighting for since you couldn't train? Oh, just because uh, I love it and obligation. You know, yeah. I, I not money. I mean, it's I mean, uh, money's always good, but mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's because BKFC they pay pay pretty good. I was wondering, Mike Perry did the main event against Michael Page. Uh, I'm the third highest weekend. highest guy in the roster. I'm not, I'm. I wonder how much Mike Perry made. I would say probably around 150, probably. Probably more than that, you think? Because Maybe. the UFC probably offered him. Something Mike similar Perry? to that, Mike Perry. What was his, what was his, what, 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 he, what was his record in the UFC? I, I don't remember, but it was good, and he was always a fan favorite. And his contract was up, and uh, they so were he left on he left on his own. I was thinking he was probably making two hundred to two hundred twenty thousand. Oh, at okay. Because I know they're I know they're paying Chad what they're paying me. Fat bread. So Jake Paul, you'd be interested in that match, would you? Yeah, I actually, I just had a call yesterday um, from his management about fighting him. Um, Which and I, I would you, pay to fight him. You would, huh? Yes. I know. I, I mean, yeah. How could you, I mean, you, you're, you're a legitimate fighter. You're good everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And how could you, cause I remember when I was, I was trying, I was at Quentin's, I was at Quentin's camp and he came in there. He was just videotaping fighting fighters and like putting on YouTube. I, I mean, it, you can, you can look at it me beating him up, beating up on him in, in California. Boxing wise. I mean, boxing wise. He's, he's gotten better. I'll give, I'll give him that. Yeah. And, and, would, and he's, uh, and he's working hard. He's a decent athlete, but he is three, and know, pro. And, and, I, and, and I would say that's his level. His sparring partners are tomato cans that, that, be, that he beat up on. I mean, well, I guess they released the footage of, uh, yeah, him sparring yeah I, I, I talked to Rockman about that. You know, I, I just happened, I just happened to be in, in uh, I happened to be in the same boxing gym. He was, they told him to do, I mean, it's hard to dispute video, you know, what, what people, what people say, but he's a better boxer than that, than what, I mean, Jake, I mean, Jake Paul's, he's like, he's not a real fighter. He's not. I mean, he, the fact that he, what was impressive to me is watching him fight. There's 20,000 people in the crowd. He's a new fighter and he was staying very composed over the 10 rounds, um, working his job, hitting the body. How many, how many was, how, was 10 rounds? I, I'm pretty sure. Really? Pretty sure. I'd, ha I'd have to relook at that again. But it was going the, the distance, and he took a long time to set up that right hand. And for him to be as new as he was, and that much pressure on him, and for him to KO Tyrone Woodley like that, I, that that was pre yes, a little I mean, bit impressive. He's got his, he has pop. You know, people always say like like like, like he on his right hand signaled him. Like that's bullshit. You know, he yeah, he's he, got he's got some like, crack. In they his said right hand. they said that he signaled when he was gonna throw it. Like it was a, it was a work. I don't. I don't you kind of see him sit there and he kind of. You, you, you believe that? Do you believe it? Do you believe it was a, it was a work? No. Yeah, that's what I was saying because people think it was a work because he turned his hand a certain way. How much would Tyrone <sighs> get? I mean, how much would you have to pay someone to just okay? You're gonna knock me the fuck out, and I'm a former UFC champion. There's yeah. probably no amount. I, well, it depends what what people how much how much what they put into legacy what they you know, what they've done because because uh, because I've sparred Tyrone several times and all he fucking has is overhand that's he's athletic yeah and he has nothing else because I mean I beat the shit out of him I mean yeah and 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 he fought Ben Askren for love of God I mean if that was it's <laughs> if uh, I mean because because uh, the people I, I work with they know his management so I thought. For sure, I was gonna get. It. I think. I hope I get it now. Like, I really, yeah. I would fight for fucking. For, I mean, I would never fight for free, but mm -hmm. I just would love the chance to fight him. I really would because. Yeah, he's doing something right though. You got to give him credit. Oh fuck yeah, he's doing great. I mean, he's always bringing light to the lack of money the fighters yeah. get is good. But then just the but he. He's a good troll. He's fuck, a fucking black belt is. troll. Just like that fucking that piece of shit, uh, uh, fucking that turd hunt. You know, I, I didn't think anybody could make me upset. Yeah. I was in my room stewing for Just, days. Wow. I beat my own fucking balls on the wall. <laughs> I was fucking angry. And then, um, yeah, it, it, you, and that, you, you, you thought I really, I wasn't angry when you saw that, when you saw the tomato? I, I know how you are. I know you're a fucking ticking time. Yeah, I was, wow. wailing, I was wailing on myself backstage, making a fool out of myself. <laughs> yeah. Because it went in yeah. my mouth and out my nose. And, and uh, oh, God, that was, I, I hate tomatoes now. I can't eat them. Oh my God! That after, was my favorite. After that, <laughs> yeah, it ruined me. Um, I remember the one time back at the house uh, when we were staying there, and Lisa's like, T "Joe, who ate Joey's muffins for school?" And I heard you downstairs. Tim ate it. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> you did. That. And then I find him under the couch, and you're fucking munching on him. Yeah. Joe would. Al Joe was always a uh, good for he. You'd eat your food and just chew it up and spit it out. Huh? Yeah. Well, cause, and and every, almost all fighters they have. Will have some sort of eating disorder, you know, if they don't do it right, and like chewing food up and spitting it out—that's a—that's a precursor of eating disorder, you know. So yeah, I recognize. I started that. doing it after you did it. <laughs> yeah, the four, yeah. Just... yeah, I would buy five or five meals. I would just chew them up, spit them out. And then I'm like, 
hey, why not just swallow and throw them up? It just, yeah, no. Yeah. And I stopped so. doing that. It's just not good for it. It's, it's going to lead, just, it's going to lead to a bad path. Yeah. All right, brother. We're about at an hour now. We could, we'll do another one of these for sure. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, and, uh, yeah, thanks for taking care of Suge and I when we were young, when we had nowhere to live. Yeah, you and, always uh, have me, man. And teaching us a lot of skills, touched Thank a you, lot man. of boxing. Although I, I think you're probably still to this day one of the best ground and pounders out there. Thank lots you, of man. tricks, lots of skills. Um, guys, like and subscribe if you like the pod. Comment. Uh, we're doing another giveaway. If you comment, I'm doing uh, I'm giving away a 16 ounce pair of sparring gloves. Picking a random comment every week. Okay. So gloves? uh, some pretty sweet ones too. Okay. These monster gloves. So, all right, give Joe a follow. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye bye. Peter, gonna shuffle in on my